One of the most important things in Power Rangers is the theme of each season as that will define the style of most things. The costumes, the zords, the powers, the transformations, the weapons, and many other things will be driven by the theme. Let's make a list of the top 10 themes in my opinion, but first we should mention that Power Rangers doesn't choose the themes as that comes from Sentai. Since this list will be based on my opinion, I invite you to mention your top 10 themes in the comments. One surprise is that at the end of this video I'll be showing a theme I've been creating that I wish you could one day create in Power Rangers or Sentai. Number 10. Power Rangers Zeo is one of my favorite themes and it is based on ancient civilization. That's why they use pyramids, gold, and textures similar to the stone drawings that come from those civilizations. It is a little sad that the Power Rangers costumes are so basic, since a style like this could have been squeezed much more and this was demonstrated with the designs made by the designer Tokuje. Here we can see that the artist managed to capture all the essence of this theme and we can see how amazing this style really is. Besides the theme of the ancient civilization, they also mix some things based on Zeo crystals and that is why the helmets have those geometric figures. Number 9. Power Rangers RPM has a theme of cars and speed. We know that Turbo Season also has this same theme, but we must admit that RPM knew how to take better advantage of it. One of the things I like the most about this style that RPM has are the belts on the suits as they are identical to the belts used by professional car racers. In addition, the suits also have some wheels in various places, and all this creates a great combination. Despite all those awesome details, I think the best of all are the blasters as it is the same thing we use to fuel the cars and I think that was an excellent idea. Number 8. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but we are going to refer to the first season since here the initial theme is more marked. Although many think that the style of this season is dinosaurs, the reality is that it is based on prehistoric animals. In this season we can see the Tyrannosaurus, but we can also see the Mastodon, which is not a dinosaur. Although the costume design has nothing of the prehistoric animal style, the helmets do have this style. My favorite part of this season's theme is the Zords as it completely captures the style of the animals and machines. Number 7. Power Rangers SPD has become the favorite season for many fans and one of the reasons is because of its theme based on cops. When we were kids, many of us wanted to become policemen and they are the first heroes who risk their lives to save others. That is why this style works very well for a children's series and in this season they knew how to take advantage of this theme very well. The zords, the costumes, the command center, the ranks, and even the way in which they catch the villains has a marked police style. Number 6. Power Rangers Mystic Force is based on magic and natural elements. I know that many will criticize me for including this season in this list since many did not like this season, but the reality is that I am a big fan of magic. Another thing I should mention is that creating a theme based on magic is very complex since you can create something ridiculous for superheroes. Normally, in superhero stories the wizards are almost always the villains and we have seen that many times in Power Rangers. However, in this season the rangers also use the magic style, and everything looks amazing. Number 5. In this position we are going to mention Power Rangers Wild Force and Jungle Fury because they have a very similar theme. Both seasons have a different style, but their themes are based on wild animals. Obviously, each season has different things, but the basic style is wild animals and because both seasons knew how to use this style well, 
then I must mention both of them. From the helmets, the zords, the costumes, and everything that involves these two seasons, they have a spectacular style. Number 4. Power Rangers Ninja Storm, the only thing wrong with its theme is the season logo, but everything else is amazing. The style of this series is a combination of ninja and atmospheric natural phenomena. This includes winds, tornadoes, storms, thunderstorms, and many other things. I think this theme was a great combination since the power of nature is one of the most impressive things in real life and the way they combined all this with the ninja style was perfect. Number 3. Power Rangers Dino Thunder and in this season we can already talk about dinosaurs. We know that there are other seasons that also use dinosaurs as a theme, but in my opinion I think Dino Thunder used this style better and that's why I don't include the other seasons. I have even previously said that the costumes of this series are among the best costumes of the entire franchise, and this is partly due to the style of the series. By the way, a curious fact about this season is that they never had a Pink Ranger, however, in the comic Power Rangers Unlimited of the Morphin Masters, the emissary that accompanies Kimberly was transformed into the Pink Ranger of Dino Thunder and it can be seen in the logo on her chest. Number 2. In this position we are going to talk about a small controversy and it is that the series that I want to include here is Megaforce but I am also going to mention Super Megaforce. Let's explain this as briefly as possible and that is that Megaforce is based on angels and Super Megaforce is based on pirates. However, Sabin wanted to ignore the theme of Super Megaforce even though in Sentai this is the style it has. To understand this better, in Sentai, Megaforce is one team and Super Megaforce is a different team. This is why both seasons in Sentai are different, but in Power Rangers they decided to merge them, and this is why they had so many strange changes. The controversy of all this is bigger, but we must continue with the video and mention that both themes are awesome. Number 1. In the third season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers everything changed, and the Rangers started with a different ninja style. This theme has always been my favorite and I can't hide my love for the costumes the Rangers used. Although there are other seasons based on ninjas, I think the Mighty Morphin costumes with the Ninjetti power were the ones that best captured the essence of the real ninjas. Normally, Ninjas use black in their costumes since they must not be seen by their enemy, but since this is a fantasy series, it was spectacular to be able to see these costumes with different colors. Now I am going to introduce you to the Power Rangers team that I have created and has the theme of the elements of nature, but with a little change. We start with the Blue Ranger, the leader of this team, who uses the water element, but normally he will use it in the form of ice or snow. His main weapon is an ice axe, and this ranger also has the power to control water in any of its forms. He is a very intelligent ranger, and his best talent is to create strategies. We continue with the green ranger, which uses the earth element, and this is going to be a wild ranger that will dominate the entire jungle. His main weapon is a magic hammer with which he can break any rock, create earthquakes, and protect him from any spell. Next is the Red Ranger, which uses the fire element. This ranger does not burn with anything, heat does not affect him, and he has the power to throw fire and volcanic lava. His main weapon is a fire sword that can cut anything, and his personality is to be a very reserved ranger because he gets angry easily. The last ranger is the yellow ranger, and she is the small change because instead of using the air element, I decided to make this ranger use energy. This ranger always lives in the big cities, and you can mistake her for anyone, but she really has the power to control electrical energy, including thunder. Her main weapon is a futuristic gun that simply works to channel all the energy and direct it to a specific point. 
His personality is very cheerful, he talks a lot and never gets tired. His suit has a more futuristic style due to the fact that he comes from the future, but since the right technology does not exist in this era, she could not return to her real time. These four rangers are very different in everything, but because the Blue Ranger is a great leader, they will form an excellent team. With the elements fire, water, energy, and earth, this team will be called Power Rangers Elemental Force. If you want us to talk more about this team, build a villain, a mentor, and also a little more of the story, write it in the comments, like this video and subscribe for more Power Rangers styles.